dispatch. Undefined. Center ST. 306 traffic stop 8178 center in Vespucci in the alleyway next to the bridge on a red two door Dodge Challenger 1020 through Indiana and God We Trust. P. Paul Ocean W. William e. Edward R. Robert D. David e. Edward and Mary Ocmo Temple. How are you? I'm good. Chief Jeremy with the Lake County Sheriff's Office Traffic Enforcement Unit. I'm sure you know why I stopped you. Yeah. Alright. You got a license on you? Yes, I do. There you go, sir. Alright. Any reason for the reckless driving? Uh, I kind of spun out a little bit and I just kept on going to turn back around. Okay. You're getting a little jiggy with it. All right. I believe you took out a power light, did you not? Uh. It looked like you I took out a street light. I didn't see me take out a street light. Okay. I'll go back there and look really quick in a second. Just don't take off. Okay, I won't. Yeah, it's messing right there. There is a pull missing, so where you? Uh, from? yeah, I'll pay for that. Yeah. I have to. All right, sit tight for me. Thirty oh six. I'm out with the mail register donor. Okay. I just like to attach the stuff, just in case. Don't know what that one is. Okay. Alright. So, this is valid, valid. And we're gonna run him. See how many. Yes, he does. Why would you put a... Alrighty. Careful driving. Stoplight. Speeding. Alright, we're gonna do Miller. One ninety eight, don't you put me on the right? For some reason it's like not working, I don't understand. There it goes. It does that every once in a while. Rifles operation, damage. Property. Loud and clear. Break the tide. Turn it on four.
All right, Mr. Light. So yep. We got two citations for you. One is reckless operation, and I mean that's self-explanatory. You are careless when you're driving, and you're operating this vehicle recklessly. Yep. Um, with that citation alone comes with what's called a mandatory court appearance. So you have to show up on September 22nd at 9 a.m. It's one month from today. If you okay. fail to show up at the courthouse, then a bench warrant will be placed for your arrest, and you'll be arrested and mandatory to stay at courthouse or stay. You'll be remanded to a jail cell until your next court appearance. Make sense? Yeah, and if I can't get that to their, uh, is there any way I can reschedule? You cannot. This is mandatory. You have to show up. If you don't make it, then you'll be arrested. If you, I mean, you could call and ask if you've got, like, a family emergency or, like, something, but, I mean, if it's not, like, life or death, then you need to be able to be there. Okay. And then you're getting a citation for damage to public property, which is the street light back there. Yeah. That is not anything... The more worries is the reckless operation because that's a thousand dollar ticket and it's a misdemeanor. I could have taken you to jail for it, but I didn't. Okay. So, sign at the bottom of these is not admission guilt. It's saying that you received it. You'll take care of them and show up in court. All right. There's your copy. There's all your information back. You're free to go. Drive safely. Okay, you too. 3006, I'll declare a citation for reckless operation and destruction of property. Six traffic stop gonna be 8188 popular street and supply street on a blue two-door sports coupe occupied times 1 10 28 through indian and gotta trust t tommy edward and mary people 84 and a 40. don't roll down the windows for me How are you? Chief Jeremy with the Lake County Sheriff's Office, Traffic Enforcement Unit. I'm stopping today for your speed. You're going 84 and a 40. I don't think I was going that fast. Radar's got you, and so is dash cam. Go ahead and hand me your license. Registration insurance. Is this registered to you yet, or is it his temp? Shit, yeah, I keep forgetting to get a register. Oh, okay, how long have you had the temp tag? Uh, maybe like two, three weeks. Right okay. Alright, go ahead and hand me that, as well as your license. Do you have valid insurance for this? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, go ahead and hand me that as well. Why aren't you wearing your seatbelt? I don't see the reason to wear it, man. What did you say? I don't have a reason to wear it, man. Okay. You know, it, do, it will save your life if you get into an accident, especially when you're going, I don't know, 84 and a 40. Better than getting thrown out the windshield. You know what I mean? Sit tight. Okay. Warning. 
draw DL, closed warrant, two arrests, Warning. he is marked armed. violent, violent. And armed. Warning. Armed. Violent. Warning. Armed. Violent. You have any firearms on you? Okay. You mind if I check? What? You mind if I check? I'd rather you not, man. I don't want you okay. to go my car. I'm not searching your car. I'd be searching you. Okay. Well, unfortunately, you're a convicted felon, so you don't have a choice. I'm not on probation or parole. You're still a felon. You're subject to be searched to ensure that you don't have weapons. Okay, and I'm not sure how you're not on probation or parole when you were just arrested not that long ago for this stuff. Okay, go ahead and step out for me. Well, I'm just gonna search you, and if you have nothing on you, you can get back in. No. I'm searching you because you're a felon. I want to make sure you have no weapons on you. Cause I'm sure you don't want to go back to jail. I want to help you not go to jail. But if you're not gonna let me search you, then I'm gonna have to pull you out of the car. I don't feel safe with you. Can you call another additional? Yep, sure will. 306, can I get another unit? 8188. I don't. I'm not sure why you don't feel comfortable. I haven't done anything to you. You're trying to search me for no fucking reason. No, I have a reason. You're a felon. I've been pulled over so many times. You're marked as armed and violent in our system. Okay. Indicating you could have a firearm on you. I have had one. Okay, well, I don't know that because you're not cooperating. Well, why don't you go back to the car and look at this I don't want to talk to you right now. What's up? So, I pulled him over for speeding, 84 and a 40. Okay. This is a temporary license plate, which is an issue. The first thing that flagged in our system is he's armed and violent, and he was just arrested for felonies, including the armed and violent, recently. So, he's still on probation or parole. He's stating he's not on either, but due to his arrest, he would, due to them being recently, he would have to still be on it. And I told him to step out so I could search him, and he's not willing to do it. And he wants somebody else here. He wants it. So, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, so, he's requesting another person because you're, like, asking or telling him to get out? Or? Yeah, so I can search him. And I explained to him that if he had nothing on him, I would just let him right back in the car and get on my way. But he said he doesn't feel comfortable with me because he doesn't want somebody touching up on him. Maybe with you being here and being a female officer, he'll loosen up a little bit. Maybe. I, I don't know. I'm not for sure. But yeah, probably not. What are you stopping him for just for the, the speed? speed? Yeah. Okay. Hey, man. Oh, you're on that side. Here, I want to come over. I want to come over that side. Hold up. There you are. What up? What's up? How you doing? better if this officer wasn't trying to touch up on him. Oh, I, I, I completely that understand shit. that, mate. But, um, so, uh, you having several arrests for felonies, um, especially the arrest that you have, where I've been told by the deputy, um, is that you, you're technically supposed to be on the Meaning, or well, a... I don't think I am, man. You don't think you are? Uh, Do you mind if you get... 
and I can figure George out what's Weaver, going on. I already gave him my ID. John Weaver. George Weaver. I mean, it's part of probation and parole. You're subject to be searched, sir. I'm not on probation and parole. You. Hi, right, Weaver. Can you confirm your data bars for me? So, from the looking that I did, you were arrested a little over a month ago. A month and a couple of days. So, you're still on probation or parole. That stuff doesn't just last a month. Where does that, where is that explained to me? I've never had that explained to me. When you were arrested, the arresting officer should have explained it to you. Since you were going to be arrested for a felony, then you would get probation. And from the arrest from the 17th of last month, you're still on probation and... You've got Officer T. Brothers, 3061, is your probationary officer. Okay, so. like, explain to me how long I'm supposed to be on probation. Because that makes no sense to me. I served time in prison. Okay, but you're still on probation because of the charge that you've got. So if you weren't going to be on probation, then how the courts... It depends. I mean, it varies on what your charge is. So you... Okay. For sure that I because it was less than a month ago and you were arrested for murder of an officer, evasion, grand theft auto, a bank robbery, robbery, possession of a class 3 weapon, and fleeing and eluding. You're not off of probation. Class, it's going to be probably a year, if not a little longer. Even though you serve jail so, time, it's still going to be at least a year on probation. I also looked at your record and everything. You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, you have 6 felonies. One misdemeanor on that one big ass arrest, and three of them are probationary ones. Meaning you have to be on probationary for doing half, close to a year and a half. Well, that was never explained to me, so I don't see why. Say that again. I said that was never explained to me, and I've been pulled over plenty of times since that. I've never had an issue. Yeah, I, I completely understand. Some people don't, you know, recognize it or whatever. But with you being on probation, definitely you don't have the right to refuse a search and siege or a search of you or your vehicle only because you are on probation. Indiana state law oh, states that you... Uh, yeah, I'm, this is the thing. I'm not going to search you. This female to the right of me is not going to search you. If you don't want him to search you, I can get another male down here. But I don't I know. Look, dude, I'm not even going to search your car. I'm not even going to touch your car. I don't want to touch okay. your car. I will just want to make sure that you don't have any weapons on you. That's all I want to see. This is what, this is the only thing we can do. One, we can either go call, I can call down to the court, say, figure out what's going on, see if your probation actually went through or if it didn't, or if it's still, you know, going through. Or I can call your probationary officer, which I don't know who that is. T Brothers. Um, so I can deputy. call him and see what's going on. We got two options, and then the third option is just getting out, letting us search, and everything. But by what Indiana State Code says, you you're technically you're not able to you're not able to say no to a search and siege because you're on probation. Never, that was never explained to me, so I, I would like, if you could, to call the fucking courts, because that was never explained to me. Yeah, I'll, I'll call the courts, and I'll call your probationary just to make sure what we can do, but, um, I'm just telling you what I know. I might also be completely wrong, but I also just looked at the penal code, too, so I'm, I know I'm right. Um, 
but let me just go call the court, um, and then we'll figure it out, okay? Alright. Um, do you mind if you just sit in the car and do absent up there for me? Just talk to these, uh, deputy and this trooper, or this constable. Yeah. Okay, let's just sit tight. Well, she's doing that, I'm going to go get to your ticket just so we don't have to sit here no longer, okay? Just so I already have that ready for you. His uh, probation officer is off today, but while you're calling the courts, I'm going to get his ticket for speed written up just so we can speed this up. He's taking off. 1080. We're continuing 7314 popular. We are closing. Lost eyes. Gonna be a blue two door coupe with the temp tag. Driver is George Weaver. All right, dude. Lost eyes, we don't know if he went back into Mirror Park or if he got onto the freeway. Blue two door sports coupe, temp tag, occupied times one white male on the passenger side driving. Occupant is George Weaver. Units be advised this is a suspect. Right 
County, four play. West, Westbound Spanish Avenue. This guy is in it to win it, but so are we. Shut him down, shut him down. Nice try, bud. Nah, nice try, bud. What's up? I can't hear you, man. 1541 route. Sir, you crashed into that front car first. And then you... You got anything to stick or poke me in any kind of way to piss me off? Six show me out the motorcycle at one zero zero three GOH on the bottom, curse itself on once. You alright? Yeah, what's up? I'm just making sure you're alright. You pulled off on the shoulder. Yeah, I'm all good. Okay. Any reason you're pulled over here? Uh, now nah, I gotta text my friend, that's why. Okay, just send that out real quick and try to get moving, okay? It's for emergencies only. Alrighty. Alright. Be safe. Thank you. Thirty oh six. I'll be clear. Individual was advised to get his text message sent out and move it along from the emergency shoulder. He advises the bank robbery in progress. Six on scene. Try a swap. Hey, he 
had, he had let me have my red new uh, in the hostage. There's two officers in a bank. He has a gun pointed in my head, so don't try anything you Signal 100 is now in effect. Let's go ahead and uh, get this block closed out. I don't want no one to coming in or out. I got you. Can we have some, uh, can we have some units blocking up the road? Lake County Sheriff's Office, can anybody inside hear me? Okay, I'm gonna throw a phone in there and I wanna communicate with you, okay? Thirty oh six. Show me making contact with the male subject inside. Can you read the number to me? Can you read the number to me, please? Yep. It's gonna be zero four five zero nine nine. I was gonna read it to you. I can't okay. hear him. It's zero okay. five. Zero four zero five, five zero nine nine eight four three two. I'm shocked I haven't gotten called. <laughs> my tendency to get calls are this. I just don't make my phone number public. Well, it's a work phone number, so I really don't care. <laughs> we got two officers. How, how, how do two officers get taken off? Beats me. Can you hear me? Okay, this is Chief Jeremy at the Lake County Sheriff's Office. Who are you? I don't even tell you my name. I mean, I'd well, like to get to know each other a little bit. We got nothing but time here. Okay. Why are you doing this? I just need to get out, man. Get out of what? This. This situation? I got into this situation. I mean, you chose to take the two officers hostage, so yeah, you did. Well, either that or go back to jail. I'm alright with that. Well, I'd like for everybody to end up out of here safely, so let's make that happen, alright? Well, it will. Okay. What can I help you with? As long as you do what I need. What do you need? I'll see what I can do. I need a helicopter. Okay. Uh, and a bag of money. All right. How much money? He's in a bank. Why is he demanding yeah, money? I'll actually us? just load up in here if that's all right. Because <laughs> I don't trust your money. Okay. So. Hey, um, Chevy. If you want to go stack behind the FBI, put the other trooper. Okay, so a helicopter is gonna take time. Okay. Because we're not gonna be moving yeah, in here anytime soon. All right, that's we're not gonna move at all. You say I can't hear you. It's gonna take Go time. Stack behind that explorer right there. And I need you to do something in return for me. What's that? What? When I get at least one of the two here, I need you to let one officer out. So I'll get the money here first because I know for a fact that's gonna be the quickest thing. I will get that here. You release one officer. I get the money to you. I get the officer. And then when the helicopter arrives, actually, we'll, we'll start with this. How do you plan on getting to the helicopter? Because there's nowhere remotely near us to land a helicopter for you to just be able to walk out and get to it. Okay, yeah, there's a point there. There is power line, so there's nobody, there's nowhere in this area. The closest place would be like the beach, and you're not going to be able to walk from here to the, run there. So I understand that you probably want to just walk out of this bank and have everything you want right here, but that's just not physically possible right now. I cannot land a helicopter out here, right in front of the bank for you. Yeah, what about, uh, 
put a helicopter out on that beach and I get one of those uh, big ass. There's a parking lot right there by the thing. Swat tracks. Okay, I'm not going to give you one of our there's vehicles. There's still parking lots. Or there's still power well, lines. I'm trying to be protected. Okay, that... right, there's a pole like right in the middle. Alright. Let me talk to you. Okay. So, I can't guarantee a helicopter to land here. I can work on getting a helicopter. I can't guarantee one at all because I don't even know where the closest one is. It might be coming from Los Santos for all I know. I don't know where it's going to be coming from. So, it's going to take a lot of time and a lot of resources to make that happen. The money, we can just go down to the station to the evidence room and get that. If well, I don't want your guys' money because I know you're going to throw some kind of tracker in there. That's not true. Yeah, we don't have trackers for money at the station. We I don't even know what that is. That would right. be something that a bank would have. <laughs> A bank would have like ink with the print with the, with the money that okay well I'd love to know how you plan to take the money from the bank because everything's locked so unless you brought a welder with you you're not getting inside that vault because none of the two officers in there know what they're doing to get inside that vault so you are out of luck. Hey man, you can bring the money from there. You're okay, I'll go through it and if I find anything in there, I will kill one of them. Okay, so you didn't let me finish my side of the bargain. I get you the money, you release one of the officers. I work on getting the helicopter, and if I can get the helicopter anywhere remotely here, I can promise you right now, I'm not going to give you a police vehicle. That, that's the side of the picture. I can work on a, another vehicle for you, but it's not going to be a police vehicle, especially not a SWAT truck. You're not getting that. It's just not something that's feasible right now, okay? Well, it's not possible. I can't land a helicopter in this area. It's not how that works. FAA will not approve of that and you will not make it out of here because it'll destroy the helicopter blades and it'll blow you up and everybody in this area. Okay, so what I can do is I can work on getting a helicopter. Okay, I've already got somebody working on the money. Okay, I, I just told somebody and they're working on the money. They, they're going to the station, they're getting to the money. Okay, however, the helicopter I could land at the beach if I can get somebody down there to clear it out, okay? Um, or I can land it somewhere. Beach would be the closest. Now we need to talk what's going to happen once the helicopter could get here, if it can. Once the well, helicopter gets the here... Cars. I know you guys are going to put some kind of tracker on it or a dead switch. I'm not trying to start taking do off. You, and then you guys listen, do you really think the Lake County Sheriff's Office has a dead switch for a vehicle we i've been here for months and never once have we even done a bait car operation so why would we have dead switches that's what we would use for a bait car operation we haven't even done one so we don't even have the equipment to do a bait car operation well, we still got trackers i know that for sure yeah on our patrol cars that you're not going to get so i don't know why you brought up wanting a police vehicle you should have known that had a tracker on it well i mean should even have if i ask for some vehicle. other car there's going to be some kind of tracker Honestly, just take my FDIU. If I go to the street and I tell a civilian, get out of your car, I'm taking it, I don't have any time to put a tracker in. I don't care. I don't keep. That's not my pocket. You know what I mean? Like, I don't just carry trackers in my pocket. So, if I walk up to somebody or I just go to a parking lot and grab somebody's car or go to the impound lot and I bring it straight here or I have somebody bring it straight here, they're not going to have any time. Because when it comes to these situations, I don't play around. I want these to go very smoothly and very calmly, okay? So everything's going to be done in a specific order. When I tell somebody to go, hey, go to the impound lot and grab a car, that's what they're supposed to be doing. If they do anything else, then they did not listen to me, okay? So if they put a tracker on it and we find a tracker, then hey, they didn't listen to me, so you can't blame me for that, right? Because I told them to just bring the vehicle here. Now, I know you're not stupid. I need a vehicle and I need money. Okay, okay. I, like I said, I'm working on the money. I don't know, and I'm working on the helicopter. I just told somebody also to go grab a helicopter. From my understanding, it's going to be coming from Los Santos. And here's the really unfortunate part for you. The weather has become bad, so it's foggy. The flying conditions are not the best. In Los Santos, they're good, but you have to look at where they're flying to. So to get here, they're going to have to fly through the fog. That's not possible because it's restricted to fly through the fog. So, as of right now, the helicopter is stuck in Los Santos until this fog clears up. If this fog can clear up, then yes, a helicopter can get here. 
If not, then we're gonna have to discuss something else. Well, I'm gonna need a fast car and some money. You get that done, we'll get it done, okay? Okay, I can work on a fast car. You want two door, or four door? What do you What do you want? You want two door, or four door? I'll take a two door. Okay. You any specific four request door. with it? Color, make, model. I don't give a shit as long as it's clear. Okay. I'll see what our impound lot has available because I can't just go and steal somebody's car because then I've broken the law. So I'll go to our impound lot and see what I can get out of that. Um, I'm sure we have a sports car somewhere at the station. If we do and it's two door, which it should be, then I'll bring it here. Um, and I'll work on that and I'll bring the car with the money. Okay. All right. Well, can you tell your cops to stop aiming long guns at me? They I don't. I don't know who's aiming long guns because I'm, to be honest with you, I'm right up here at the door and the people near me are not aiming guns. So if somebody else is aiming a gun, then they obviously don't know what they're doing. Because when it comes to negotiations, there's no weapons to be aimed, okay? So I'm the one doing negotiations, so everything should be ran through me, right? Okay, I just got an update on the money. Almost here, okay? So, I know I said that I'd bring the car with the money, but the money's already halfway here. So, the money is going to be here before the car. I'm just going to throw it in front of the door. I want you to release the officer, let the officer get away, and then you can take the money. Alright? No, man. I need, I need him to grab that money so I can check it before it'll, it'll let him leave. Because if I find shit in that money bag, there's going to be issues. Okay. You never said how much money you wanted, so. How much money did you want? Because we're not made of money. We don't have money to read at the station, so. How much you got, man? How much do you want? We're supposed to be negotiating with each other and working with each other. You give me something, I give you something. Can you get me a mail? I'm already working on something. You haven't done anything for me. I've already done two things for you. You've been calling people. I don't see anything in front of me. Well, you're not going to see anything happening on scene because the people that are on scene are the ones that are supposed to be staying here. You think that everybody is just here to cater to you? No. I mean, that's kind of the whole point of this shit right now. No, there's not. Unless you're dead. Unless you want to be killed yourself, I suggest you don't kill a cop, because if you kill a cop, all bets are off and you're going down. I promise I'm you that. Alright, well I want a million, man. A million? Yeah, get it to me. How about we even what? with 750, because that's what I brought. Alright. Alright. It looks like the duffel bag getting here, so I will... Go get that and ensure that there's nothing in it, and then I'll throw it in front of the door. Alright. Alright. I'll call you once I've already released it, once I get the officer. If you don't give me the officer and you just take the money, we're going to have a serious problem. Well, I'm going to have this officer in front of me grab that money and throw it to me. And then he, the officer is going to leave. You, you can keep yeah. one officer and you can exchange from the money. I get one officer, you get the money. And then you get to keep the other officer until the other demand gets here. I'm telling this first officer to grab the money and throw it to me. <laughs> okay. I'm walking outside to get gunned down. I, nobody's going to gun you down. I can assure you right now, if you were the one to walk out here, nobody would gun you down. Because we have two officers in there and we're not going to risk it. You're saying, uh huh, like I'm joking. I'm being dead serious. I would rather you walk out of here and you get anything in this world that's feasible for you to get in return for two officer safety. Yeah, well, if you can just give me that money bag. I mean, I'm working on it. Let me go grab it. All right. I'll call you in a minute. Yeah. Let's stick to the plan here. Let's not be dumb about anything because I don't want this to go south. Alright. You are such a good negotiator. Okay. You got a duffel bag back here? Constable. What's going on? You got a duffel bag back here? 
Oh, uh, yeah. Wonderful. I'm going to borrow it really quick. No problem. Trying to be a real life cop, then you're gonna have to deal with this. Not if you work for a small agency and shit doesn't happen. Y'all might want to back up. Got an officer, got an officer. We got one officer at the door grabbing the money. He's gonna bring it back inside. Once the civilian assures that the money is real as it is indeed, then the officer will be released. He'll still have one officer. We're working on further negotiations. All units, hold your ground. Why would you say that? Their radios are still on. You said it's real, dumbass. You said that it looks real. No, I said it's real as it is real. Oh, okay. But I heard that it looks real. This ain't my uh, first radio. My bad. A pretty good negotiator, though. Not gonna lie to you. Shoot cop. I just heard of something falling. So. Oh, I'm just click. <laughs> Where's my officer? Uh, well, you're getting your phantom officer to walk down. No officer walked out. He quote unquote uh, walked out by himself. Okay. If you didn't see the. the I did not see know, that because I seen him come out and grab the money and give it to you and. The officer in the black fucking. The Maryville police officer, he had an issue with time and he left. So you're just down to one officer. So let's say that he left. So you got one officer now. I had, I had two of them with me. The, one of them. And the other one with his head, mm -hmm. and he pooped away. So let's say he walked out because I had two to begin with. Okay. I only have one. Wonderful. I'm still working on the helicopter. This fog is not helping. Um, you can't give me that helicopter. Then give me a car. I look. I told you I would still work on the helicopter and the car. I didn't know which would come first. The car. I'm getting updates at the car. We only got four doors at the station. You wanted a two door, so that's coming from Sandy Shores a lot. That's a bigger lot. Well, I said I had to work, sir. Well, I want you to get a two door. You said a two door. So I'm going to get you a two door, not a four door. I don't want you to get scammed out of an extra two doors. Two doors can make a lot of difference. Two doors for. Never mind, never mind. Alright. I want you, for the remainder of this, to send the officer to the front door. I don't want to do that. No. You can stand right there and still have him hostage. That's totally fine. I just want to be able to see the officer because if I can't see the officer for the remainder of this, we're not going to talk anymore. I've done plenty for you. I'm leaving myself wide. I'm talking open. I have. Okay, well that's fine. I'm not going to stand right in the open for you to see me. That's dumb of me. I'm going to stand where I can see the door. So I want you to bring the officer to the door with you or just leave the officer at the door. I can promise you right now, if you leave that officer at the door, nobody's coming up to grab it because then you just shoot us. So that's pretty dumb of us. We're not going to do it. I've done an awful lot for you. I've now blown $750,000 on you alone thinking that you're some little princess here and you ain't done nothing for me except for at least one officer. You got a lot more to give. So let's start giving Wait, stuff. The best you can get, man. 
the best I can get. You want to play that game? Because the best you're going to get here in a minute. Right now, can't you? No, because you're not at the door. I'm not standing right in the open. I told you that. I ain't going to stand right in the open, fool. I can see you now. You see me? Contact one. Do you see me? Yeah, you want to keep being a dick? I'll fucking blow this guy's head apart. Okay, you want to play that game? We'll play some games, all right? I'm working with you. I blew seven hundred fifty thousand dollars on you. I'm getting you a car and a helicopter, and you're sitting here complaining like a little three-year-old. You don't get everything you want in life. You should have learned that a long time ago. Just because you got a gun to somebody's head doesn't mean you're full control here. I've done plenty for you, and you ain't done nothing. It didn't take you nothing to walk ten steps to that door where I could see you. Those words cut deep. Yeah. All right. So how about you work with me before I just cut all ties, and we do this my way, not your way? Yeah, we do your way. Your way. This officer's gonna get shot. Yeah, if we do it my way, I can assure you that officer gets shot, you're getting shot. Fine by me. You, okay. Do you want me to start executing that plan? Because I'll do it right now. I'll get somebody in a clear shot to kill you, right here, right now. So I suggest you don't run your mouth anymore and you listen to me. Because if you want to get out of that building alive, I suggest you listen to me because I'm your best bet to get out of that building alive. And without getting hurt. I'm clipping the helmet from the back of my vest. Okay, I'll work on that. Little bastard. If we can have that, all right, come here. If it's in 5M, but if we can get it in, then we'll try. He just said, Come here, so I can't see shit. Go on. All right, we don't know which one is which. which Here's one what we're gonna in? do I need you guys have the phone number as well, so I need one of you because I'm not gonna play his stupid old games, we're not, we're not gonna do it. He already threatened to kill the cop. We're not going to sit here and play his dumb games. I need one of you to stay in a position, kind of like that guy, where you guys can see directly in. I need one of you to go on the phone. I There's a car parked over there in that alleyway. I need one of you to go grab that car. Park it probably about right here. Park it in between that Tahoe and that Where's truck. It's in that alleyway. Chevy, you're going to have to do right the phone. There. I, don't have, I don't have the phone number at all. So whoever was I mean, all you have to do is just tell him that the car is in place. That's all you have to say to him. Do you want a shot lined up by that FPIU? I'm going to get I a sniper, and I'm getting on the rooftop. Because That's what if he comes out and I'm able to get a shot, I'm going to pop it. I don't have the phone number. I've got a sniper, so I'm going to take the shot if I get the chance. Um, the car as a backup plan has a mini chip in the rear left tire Actually, that we can um, trace. And we've got a tractor on the sidewall. And then 
hardwired into the engine block is a mini kill switch. So just in case he does get the car, and all bets are off, then we can at least have a kill switch to get the car shut down. What alleyway is it in? Do you see where that sign is that says clearance? Oh yeah, I see it. Okay, that alleyway right there. Can you tell me his phone number again? So, just go grab that car, Hank. Okay. I'm Jeremy, not we could put an officer on the sidewall right here. Someone, he needs to not bring the car up yet. Um, you need, the phone number's in chat, so somebody needs to call him. Then, give me time to get on the rooftop. We're not going to be able oh, to communicate oh. over the radio. Dang. So, you're going to have to just watch for me Chevy really quick. to get on the rooftop, okay? You're going to have to just give it a couple of minutes. So, I'll get on the rooftop before you bring the car in. After a couple of minutes... You said you don't want that car brought right now? No. Okay, I'll, I'll go ahead now. Keep the car here for right now. Just keep the car here. Um, they're gonna... It's gonna take me a minute to get on the rooftop. So... That's fine. I was just gonna park it where you told me to. Yeah, well, I don't want that until I'm on the rooftop and I've got an angle. Um, All right, just... If you're on radio, just holler over radio when you want to. Well, they've got radios on in there and he can hear them. So, hey, do you um, have the guy inside's phone number? I can probably call him. Yeah. Hold on. All right, I'm ready. Um, zero four five. Don't call him yet. Just get it ready, because once I'm on a rooftop, you're you guys aren't gonna know that I'm on a rooftop because I'm not gonna be able to communicate with you yet because they have radios. So what I want is one person to call him and say, okay, the car is not coming into place. Put the car in there, quickly get away. When he comes out, if I get the shot, I'm taking it. If he doesn't, the car has a kill switch and we can just go with that route. But he uh, should really sure call you would lock I know the doors. When to call him. Re just give it a couple minutes. Just give it, once I start running, I'm just gonna run to a nearby building. Once you see me kind of disappear, give it like another minute. Jeremy. And then, We'll go from there. Once he gets in the car, lock the doors, and then that well, way we don't have an actual thing, so we just have to RP it out. Oh, you can't lock the doors. Well, I didn't set this as my personal car. You can if you want. And how does it have a kill switch? Through the great powers of chat box. You do so make valid disappear, point. Once you disappear, all right. I need the rest of his number. Okay. So, so that's personal, I just can't get into the I got zero four five zero nine nine. Zero nine nine and then the rest of it is eight four three two. So give it a couple minutes. Once I start running away, I'm gonna try not to be seen by him. Get the car. Once it's in position, tell him remind him that he has to release the officer and he can take the car. He has to release the officer before he gets in the car. Once he gets in the car, before he even gets to that point, I'm going to take him out and that's going to be the end of it because he's not going to give up peacefully. He don't want to negotiate. He don't care if he's dead, so I'm just going to shoot him until I can only stop him because he's got guns. So, I got you. Yep. Um, if you can, like I've already tried telling him to just come out and he's not listening. He don't want that. He don't want to go back to jail. So we're at the point, if he releases the officer and he sees everybody with him at guns, he might give up. If he tries to go for the car, I'm killing him. Okay. All right, so you got the number. Once he calls, once you see him go back up there, just kind of park a little bit by that fire hydrant. Once you see him pull the phone out and he's on the call with him, pull the car up. And then just get into a standby position. And I need somebody in a car just in case this moron tries to flee and I miss my shot. Jeremy, so we're taking out. The, so we're gonna take out the host, the hostage taker. Yeah. Alrighty, I'll be in a secondary shot just in case. I'm trying to figure out how to get on a rooftop. I don't know of anywhere to go where he can't see us. I'm trying to get on a rooftop somewhere. You trying to get on the roof? Yeah. Uh, Without the being apartment? seen. Yeah. All right, this way, this way, this. Without being seen. You won't be seen, you won't be seen. The truck is blocked. 
Uh, and great magic powers, blah, 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 blah. Um, be right back. Okay. Oh my god. Right, we climbed onto the Took a lot of steps. Took a lot of climbing off. Alright. Hopefully they don't screw this up. They should be moving the car and I don't know what they're waiting on. Do they have, uh... Do they have our radios or not? Yeah, they've got one officer inside with the radio that doesn't have an earwig, so they've got communication. Come on, what are we waiting on? Why is someone trying to call me? I forgot we had radio chat. Hopefully they see it. The suspect shouldn't have that. What are we waiting on people? Let's go. Oh my god. The sad part is that this guy ran earlier all over him being on probation for multiple felonies and me going to search him and then he took off mm. all over that and, he, and then he turned to this because he don't want to go back to jail oh my god bro do these people not know oh, move the uh, uh, one's on oh the phone god. with him so i don't know what they're not moving the car in for that car is supposed to be in between that tahoe and truck so then i have a shot on the driver's side Bro, I am about to go into our, uh, you know, ISP database and get brother's phone number and call him if he does not hurry up. I think he he's supposed to be the one. I think he's the one on the phone with him. So, okay. and for some reason, the suspect tried calling me again, even though that wasn't the agreement. And then I went to go call back and he hung up, so... Don't I can't you can't talk to me right now. I've got a sniper in my hand. I can't talk. Oh my god, bro. My god. Yes, sir. You want all of us to pull away and the car pulled out? That was the plan to begin with. I told him to get on the phone, tell him that the car is in place, and get out of the way. Okay, well, that was the original plan. So, let's go ahead and have all law enforcement pull back. Go ahead and move the truck, put the car in position. And we'll go from where we discussed. Keep the truck in place. I want the truck to be... The car needs to be in between the truck and Tahoe. Alright, keep, keep the keep the truck in place though. Um, but yeah, move all the other law enforcement vehicles away from the scene. Okay. Who just shot? 
went to that shit. If I can, it shot when I was fucking like uh, closing the thing. My I, say, I swear, if he just killed that suspect after all this work I put, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> we're not even gonna breach, we're just gonna blow it up. I don't even see him. I think he's near the vault. I don't think he's. I don't think he's near the window. I don't. I th yeah, I think he's near the vault, waiting until we move out of here. Which I told his. He's not very intelligent because I told him to stay at the door. Oh he don't know how to listen. So. You're good. Uh, when he informs you why there, if he asks why is there a LEO truck in the middle of the door, just say we don't have the keys for it, so you're gonna have to go around it. Alrighty. Hopefully he don't screw this up, come on. I mean, surely it's not hard to say cars in place, release the officer. I'm not going to take the shot until I get the officer clear, and if I don't have to. I want to make sure we get the officer at least away from the bozo. You are good. If he ever shows his face again, what do you do? Go out the back door it can't open? <laughs> um, he just shot. killed the officer. He just killed the officer. Oh, what the brothers. Shots fired. Move in. This is don't, no, no. Oh, what are you doing? He killed the officer. What an idiot. We got shots fired. Okay. Alright. Alright. Yeah, okay, right. Brothers is calling me. Brothers is calling me. Alright, officer Brothers, down. what did you say? Oh, okay. Yeah, we, we seen, we seen, we seen, we seen, we seen the officer get shot, so. Alright, yeah. it's flashbang time. Alright, we're, we're moving in. Uh, just have all the units stage outside while. I got flashbangs if um need Everybody know how to clear a building? Yes sir. Wonderful. S S tag is enabled for me, so yep. Yep, it's enabled for me too. Whenever everybody's ready. Alright. Throw the flash. Flashes in. You have to try to get deeper in there. Cop. I think he's over there by the vault. Flashes in. He, he's, it's in there. It's in there. Suspect down. Hold fire. Clear the rest of the bank. I'm gonna stay here with him. Everybody get one person. Get the officer. Everybody else clear the bank. Do not move. Let me know when the bank's clear and I'll move in and cuff him. And once the officer's out, I'll move in and get him. Suspect is secure, you must record move on.
Is the rest of the bank clear? Get the officer outside and we'll leave the suspect inside. One officer that's on scene, go inside and remain with the suspect until EMS can get in there. One person just stay with the suspect. did this George wasn't even worth it Multiple GSWs, upper mass, body, and arm area. Possible couple in the head, not sure. I know they're all upper mass. Nothing's in the lower body. He's got no pulse. He hasn't since he went down. Yeah. We have any street crimes available? Our left, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. 